The confrontation between Russia and Ukraine is raging, and the unstable situation is evoking reactions from all over the world. This time, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has issued a single fight challenge to Russian President Vladimir Putin, bringing the billionaire back into the spotlight. With a series of tweets, the CEO of SpaceX pushed back against the Russian president. Welcome to Elon Musk Center, the one-stop channel for the all-new updates that you need to know about Elon Musk and his works. Before we get into the video, please share and subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Also, tap on that bell icon for notifications. So, let's check out the topic of today's video. Rogozin, the president of Russia's state space agency Roscosmos, is alleged by Musk to have written a note to Russian media, which Musk released on Twitter. In accordance with the message, American military personnel had provided Ukrainian marines and militants of the Nazi Azov Battalion with Starlink satellite internet system technology. Elon Musk thus is participating in equipping the Nazi forces in Ukraine with military communication technology, Rogozin stated, according to an English translation that Musk uploaded. Also, a Russian version was tweeted by him. And for this, Elon, no matter how much you try to play the fool, you will be held accountable like an adult. Elon Musk has enemies in authority who aren't afraid to tell him so. The CEO of SpaceX and Tesla referred to a media comment made by Dmitry Rogozin, the head of Russia's space program, in a tweet. The accusation, which has been picked up by Russian media, is that Musk supplied the Azov Special Operations Detachment, a unit of the Ukrainian military that has been credibly linked to neo-Nazi movements, with Starlink Internet Entertainment. This ugly situation has been used by Russia as part of its justification for its widely condemned invasion of its neighbor. Rogozin attacked Musk in the statement for supplying the fascist forces in Ukraine with military communication equipment, and urged that, despite his desire to play the fool, he will respond in an adult fashion. Musk then joked in a subsequent tweet that it had been great knowing you if he passed away under unexplained circumstances. As Musk recognized in a subsequent tweet on Sunday, this sounds very much like a threat. He wrote that if I pass away inexplicably, it's been lovely getting to know you. That flippant comment didn't sit well with Musk's mother, May, who tweeted, That's not funny, along with two furious face emojis. The multi-billionaire businessman retorted, Sorry, to survive, I'll do everything in my power. Given that Rogozin is prone to hyperbole and bluster, it's not surprising that Musk doesn't seem to be too concerned about his safety. For instance, the head of Roscosmos has frequently said that Russia may drop out of the International Space Station or ISS program if the invasion-related sanctions are not lifted. Despite this, things continue to be more or less the same in the orbiting lab. There are obviously degrees of intricacy at play here that are challenging to unpack. While it's unacceptable that Azov has connections to extreme white nationalist organizations, it's also actively resisting a reprehensible Russian invasion. Although he hasn't yet acknowledged or disputed it, Musk may not think Azov is actually a neo-Nazi organization, despite the fact that its coat of arms appears to be too Nazi insignia. Musk made this clear in a subsequent tweet. There are no angels in war, he said nonetheless, in a cryptic statement. The long-simmering conflict between Musk and Rogozin erupted once more after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. This is when the SpaceX Tsar decided to wade in and, uh, threaten Russian President Vladimir Putin. In the past, Rogozin and Musk have also exchanged jobs. Rogozin, for instance, said in 2014 that the US should use a trampoline to transfer its astronauts to the ISS, in allusion to the fact that the country at the time was totally reliant on Russian Soyuz spacecraft for crewed orbital missions. When sanctions were put into place soon after Russia invaded and annexed Crimea, which had been part of Ukraine, Rogozin, who was Russia's deputy prime minister at the time, was furious. SpaceX put an end to this dependence in May 2020 when it carried two NASA astronauts on the historic Demo-2 mission to the ISS. Musk responded to Rogozin, six years in the making, shortly after the liftoff, saying, The trampoline is working. In order to support Ukraine in maintaining part of its communications infrastructure while the Russian invasions are still in progress, SpaceX, Musk, and the United States Agency for International Development have been upfront about supplying Starlink terminals to the nation. 
Soon after the invasion started in late February, Ukrainian officials requested this equipment. Okay, before continuing with the video though, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to smash that like button. Also, enable the bell icon for more exciting videos like this one. Now, let's move back onto the video. Despite the fact that Russia chose not to respond to the billionaire's Twitter, the head of the Russian space agency did so by labeling Musk as a weakling in his English language tweet. Since the war began, the 50 year old businessman has been open about his support for Ukraine. Mikhailo Fedorov, the Ukrainian Minister of Digital Transformation, contacted Musk on Twitter a few days after the start of the conflict to request access to Starlink, SpaceX's satellite based internet service. This came amid widespread power and internet outages in Ukraine. According to Musk's statement to the minister, the terminals required to connect to his satellites were on their way to Ukraine. He also noted that Starlink internet had been activated in Ukraine. Faster internet connections than any local service provider are available from these terminals, which resemble satellite television dishes. To provide high-speed internet connectivity, they communicate with a group of satellites in low orbit. Fedorov praised Musk in a tweet after a few days and included a picture of Starlink devices. You are all really welcome, the millionaire said in reply. It's interesting to note that Fedorov expressed his confidence in Musk's ability to send Putin to Jupiter after Musk challenged Vladimir Putin to single combat in a tweet. In the midst of its ongoing conflict with Russia, Ukraine has found the Starlink satellite internet service from SpaceX to be of utmost value. But Elon Musk claims that Russia is working harder to sabotage Starlink service to Ukraine. Thankfully, Musk has added that Russia has not yet been successful. Starlink is proving to be remarkably durable in the face of attempts by the nation to jam or hack the satellite internet system. Russian cyber war attempts to jam or hack the Starlink have been unsuccessful thus far, although Musk noted on Twitter that they are intensifying their efforts. Also, Musk sent a link to the Reuters piece that explained how Russia started a cyber attack against the Viasat satellite internet service provider in February. As Russian President Vladimir Putin moved his soldiers into the nation, the strikes took place, cutting out internet connectivity for thousands of Viasat customers in Ukraine. In a press release, the UK government claimed that the internet users outside of the country were also impacted by Russia's actions in the Ukraine against Viasat. Customers of Viasat from the other EU members reported losing their internet access when the war started as well. According to Viasat, tens of thousands of terminals have been destroyed, rendered useless, and are not repairable. On the other side, Starlink has so far been able to fend off attacks from Russia. This does not imply that there were no attempts to interfere with the satellite internet service though. According to a Pentagon source named Dave Tremper, Moscow attempted to jam Starlink in April. At a rate faster than the American military, SpaceX successfully repelled the cyber attack. Dmitry Rogozin, the head of Roscosmos Space, lashed out at Elon Musk and Starlink satellite service, which currently provides daily service to an estimated 150,000 consumers in Ukraine, in a message to Russian official media. Musk received a subtly veiled threat from Rogozin, who stated that the CEO would be held accountable for his wartime activities. Once the internet connections were interrupted due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Musk turned on Starlink, a network of more than 2,000 satellites orbiting the Earth and thousands of terminals on the ground, in late February. According to Musk's tweets, SpaceX spent $80 million on Starlink so far, and the final cost will be more than $100 million. He stated to his more than 108 million Twitter followers that SpaceX could not support the network indefinitely, amid rumors that he had requested the Pentagon to intervene. He made the statement in the response to CNN's story that SpaceX wrote to the Pentagon last month, warning that it would be forced to stop funding the Starlink service in Ukraine unless the US military agreed to pay corporation tens of millions of dollars each month. Later, the Defense Department acknowledged that it had received a request from Musk to take over funding for the satellite network. The person stated that senior authorities are debating the matter after it was brought up in meetings. Although it's impossible to predict where the conflict will go next, given that any of these parties is past interactions, it wouldn't be a good idea to wager against the messiest result. 
A 35-hour curfew will be placed on the Ukrainian capital in reaction to new Russian strikes, according to the newest development in the Russian invasion of Ukraine, according to the mayor of Kyiv. That's all for today. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel for more recent updates like this, and feel free to check out some other videos on our channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.